Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I'm super elated to be scrutinizing another swing dance video for you today. But first, make sure you subscribe and headbutt that notification button so you never miss a swing dance reaction video ever again. Today, it looks like we're going to be looking at a video from Solo Jazz Power channel on YouTube. Looks like it's called, I Want to Be Happy with Egle and Povilas. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right, but it looks pretty dope based on the thumbnail, and I'm gonna jump right into it. Do not let your hearts be troubled. I will be telling you the absolute truth about how I feel about this video footage. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, this is not the place for you. All right, let's look into it. Ooh, this is clever. I wish the real world worked out that way. <laughs> yeah. Transitions. Yes. No, oh, that's such a clever way of transitioning. Oh, that was cool. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, let's talk about this. Wow. What an interesting video. You know, I found that one really different because for, on so many levels, a lot of times when you see dance videos today, people make them overproduced where you have so many quick cuts and, and edits where people can't actually appreciate the dancing. And I feel that this video struck a, a really unique balance where I could see the technology amplifying what they were doing and not actually taking any of the, the appeal of their dancing away. And I found that fascinating, really, really cool. You know, the, one of the parts that I liked was the transitions. I really liked the transitions between him and her when they were like coming in together towards each other and they kind of looked at each other and they went through that initial like connection and then towards the end they kind of do the same thing but it, it hit in a spot where I didn't expect it I think that's what made me like it more it's like I thought as soon as they hit like it was gonna like end right there but it didn't 
Like the music kept going and then, you know, it shows her face and then she starts walking and it shows his face and looks down at the little, you know, the smiley face thing, which is really cool. So kudos to those who edited this. That is such a delicate balance when you are taking technology and mixing it with like talent from dancers because you can really undermine it. A lot of people undermine it. And I think that's the, the problem with a lot of dance today and not just swing dancing, but just in, in general in Hollywood is everything is overproduced and we lose the sense of nuance and subtlety and and character and personality. Everybody becomes like a, a meme or a avatar and you know it's a bunch of green screen and it's a little it's a little frustrating because I I've I'm a Gen Xer. I've seen the whole time of Michael Jackson, I've seen the MTV time, and it's really hard to go higher than that. It really is harder to go higher than that. Uh, without diminishing what you're doing as an artist, because um, it's, it's you know it is what it is. It's just I just remember like around 1999 is when everything became like overproduced. There was so much effects. Computer technology was rapidly increasing, so I think a lot of people felt the need to actually add more to music videos, and it kind of hurt. It hurt music videos. You know, I always went back to like the early 90s for like MJ. Because he was always the one that would like push the limit of excellence for music videos. And he's still kind of the pinnacle, even though I think a lot of stuff he did in his personal life was terrible. Um, and I look at his, when, I, when I look at his art and I look at the, the precedence that he set with his art, even people like Fred Astaire had to look up to him and be like, hey, this was phenomenal. We haven't seen singing and dancing like that since, you know, 1950s and 60s. So that's pretty cool to think, you know, someone like Fred Astaire, which is one of the da greatest dancers of all time for me, looked up to a person like Michael Jackson when he did his, uh, I think it was like uh, his performance at uh, Motown, uh, 75th anniversary, he did the moonwalk for the first time, which was actually not the first time the moonwalk was done, it was just the first time he did it. And um, I think it's hard to, to beat that pinnacle. But I like what these dancers have done. These dancers have actually highlighted dancing and not just fancy editing even though they had editing it, it added value to it so that's my opinion i liked it i want to be happy too with them <laughs> yeah i'm sure a lot of you all want to be happy too because a lot of people are stuck in their houses right now with this whole covid19 pandemic it is stressful and frustrating for so many people but i will tell you um I'm happy to be home and be in good health with my family, and I get to make some cool videos with you guys. I'm going to be making a lot more content uh, on different things that I like uh, in the scene right now, and many of those things are old performances that I've seen before, and I want to kind of like see what it looks like to me now and give you guys my opinion on those things. In fact, I'm going to be doing some on Jam Circle, so you guys be taking a look. Uh, keep, make sure you keep an eye out for some of those videos too because I'm having a lot of fun uh, sharing my opinion on a lot of different things. So what did you guys think about this one? I thought this was pretty interesting. I liked it. Give them a big shout out. If they have some type of Patreon support, I encourage you guys really support the artists right now. People are struggling. A lot of these artists, this is what they do full time. Um, so guys, if you have a favorite dancer out there, if you got a favorite artist, try to support them. Even a few dollars can help. So do that please in this time of transition for a lot of people. So doesn't look like they have anything like that, but looks like you can connect with them on Instagram and Facebook. I'm sure they have some like promotions and things like that for whatever they're doing right now. So anyways, I want to be happy with Egle and Povilas. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section. If you guys uh, are looking to get into swing dancing, you should. I got some solo jazz courses below. You can check them out. I got about 25 to 30 free courses you can check out. Really fun stuff. Some of my original stuff. Some of the old time routines that you have to know being a part of swing dancing. Uh, and hopefully it will inspire you. So with that said, uh, if I don't see you guys' comments below, let me know what you guys thought about this video, and hopefully I'll see some of you in my class online. Take care.